Scorpio, sweet joy. Welcome to my channel. God bless you. Today I have a love song for you. All right, it's by Mariah Carey called Even Though I Try, I Can't Let Go. You can't get them out of your mind. So let's see what's going on in love. I'm going to get my love cards, get the secrets about what's going on. And then I have some new love cards, okay? That we're going to try to take check these new cards out. They're so beautiful. Uh, let me announce them. I will show you. They're by the love oracle. Hmm. Anyway, just wanted to bring that up as an announcement. Here we go. So, Scorpio, even though you try, you can't let it go. Let's see. I'm not gonna try to sing it. Yeah, no, I can't get to her tone. And let's see what's going on. And love for Scorpio. Ooh. All right. So. All right. All right. Something's messing with your 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 ten of pentacles. Your happy home. Your stability in life. Okay. Dealing with family. What's going on? We got the kids here. Mommy, Daddy, Grandpa. Okay, 10 is for a new cycle. So I would say if it was upright, you're going into a new cycle. But right now, things are not stable. So we'll see what's going on. Okay. Oh, somebody's crying. So this is probably you. This is a earth sign for the real life stuff. So... We're talking about Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, okay? Could be involved or family, love life, okay? Talking about money or health, okay, of the family. Okay, so here we go. Somebody's crying. So this deals with, um, you know, the source talks about what's in the air and the ether waves, okay? Could be communication or problems and troubles on their way or just around, so... But wisdom, you're trying to find wisdom, but uh, even though you're comforted, okay, on this cushion, uh, in your head, you're thinking about things, okay? So, just bring in tears. Oh, what's the matter with you, Scorpio? Even though you try, you can't let go. Okay, you're feeling like you've been deceived a little bit. It's a little bit of doubt and deception, okay, you feeling of dealing with this problem with the family, okay, so we have the upright, yeah, okay, the seven, so the nine deals with wisdom, okay, the seven deals with uh, what is the pathway, okay, what is, what's going on, but you see the storm, it's a storm, and she's looking at her love underwater right now, so which pathway will you take Scorpio and what we'd have to do is wait until the storm passes that's the object of this card okay this could be a seven year relationship or seven things you're dealing with okay so here we go what is the pathway we got two more cards a lot of cards came out okay there we go. Right now, you may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this is how they feel, okay? Just period. Talking about this pinnacle right above his head. Okay, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be you, okay, or the man in your life who has wielded his shield or his sword in truth. Could be a little cruel or sharp in the communication, but a little upset. Okay, so this could be the both of you. They're feminine and you're feminine or this is just you. And cutting out things that don't serve you in a situation. Okay, but blue is for fears. Blue is for trying to attain something, which would be this Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this may be your mate or even you. With the tears and the sadness and the fears. Okay, I'm trying to get this clear. Out of here. Let's start with the glare. But we'll, we'll do more. See, the, this is a situation. There it is. And the last card is our prayer. 
And the prayer of this card of the spiral is ascension. Like how do you ascend in the situation? Okay. How do we ascend, Scorpio? So the deck talks about ascension, but the main part of it is it says the ultimate goal or aspiration is to be like the tarot fool, not allowing past experiences to hold us back, but embracing the new cycle with an open heart and mind each time with a little more wisdom. Okay, so this could have been a breakup, but what, what the cards are saying is you have to wait till the mist settles, okay, to see what's really going on. Okay, so stop the crying. No. And somebody's feeling unstable, see? The two of you. There's two people there. There's two people, the main two right here, if you could see their faces. And maybe a baby girl. Nice. All right, so let's see what's going on. What's the secret behind this crying and this swordsman? Okay, hiding. Maybe you haven't talked to this person. Okay, you see they're, they're kind of hiding, but they're coming out with the truth. There may be an offer of communication. Uh, you have to be careful in your communication. It could mean that this person, uh, you're crying as a feminine because this person had a bad intention. Okay, if we put this on this side, you're looking like, what happened? Okay, with my family because of this king of sword with the bad intention. Okay, that brought the crying here. So you thinking about the new cycle. So let us see what is about to happen. What's the secret behind the seven? Looking at the family underwater and the crying. We'll get the secret to that in a moment. What's the secret behind this ten of pentacles and this three of cups? It could be a third party situation with that three of cups. Because I was told to switch up the cards. No, okay, so that's worlds of wealth. It could have to do with money or just, you know, the health and wealth of the situation. Because the two of wands upright is waiting on your wealth to come in, you know, planting seeds. But reversed is like fear, is surprise. Surprise that this happened. Okay, so what's up with the crying and the doubt, deception, feeling deceived? Okay. What's up with feeling this deceived? No, okay, this is instability with this offer you thought was from God or a new uh, start, okay? You thought it was coming and, you know, you got disappointed in that for the family's sake. Now, what's up with this King of Swords? Could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius, you that cut something out or them. Or it could be an offer of truth. Okay, that's power, law, and intelligence. It could be you. Do they have bad intentions? In reverse, is bad intentions. So, excuse me. This person could just be coming with truth. Or you could just be coming into this truth about this Three of Pentacles and this Three of Cups, which would be a third party. And the seeds you planted is not bringing wealth right now into the situation when you're one. You're trying to get stable in your emotions. Okay? Because of this instability here. Right? So you got to leave behind some stuff. This could be you. You know, and your your male, when you have the male aspect of yourself, it's an action. Okay? And you thinking about the truth or this intelligence you have or someone who brought this truth. You got to leave behind some stuff for ascension for the family's sake. Okay? As you can see in these people, the person, the feminine, is looking at the baby. And the man and their babies, okay? Why the male is holding something in his hand. Okay, it could be a message of truth, okay? Here we go. And this video go to a lot of Scorpios. So it could be either or, the man bringing truth and or your intelligence and power in the situation. Okay, here we go. What is the truth about this? Ooh, I'm about to cry. What is the truth about this King of Swords? I am an empath and a psychic, first of all. So we'll try to get as much information. Upright. Okay, they have bad intention. Upright is just power and intelligence. So they have the power in the situation. But I said in the beginning, which is why Spirit, the Holy Spirit wanted me to mention bad intention first. This is not being able to fix it. 
not being able to fix things at this moment. So what is the outcome? What is the secret outcome of this? What is the secret outcome of this? It said both upright. So if it's both, I'll just put it sideways. You learn in the goal that you're learning that you can't fix it because it's not a stable situation here. And you're learning to go with the flow, which is to build all situations, relationships on this side, which is 30. You see the Scorpio, the Scorpion coming through. Go with the flow so you don't get bit. A scorpion don't bite you. Okay. Because if you bark and, and cry and say, oh, I want to, you know, fix this right now, uh, you might get bit. Or your feelings hurt, you may have to wait till a new moon, a new eclipse, a new cycle, okay? Then you want to build friendship so that everything's sturdy uh, with your next relationship or if this person comes in. That's how you're going to get a stable, because you're stuck right now. This is my stuck card. So go with the flow about this right now. It's like it's not moving forward at this time. And they're not, as the magician, trying to, the truth is, they're not trying to fix it. So what is the end result one more time? And love for you, Scorpio. Because even though you try, can't let go. Right now. Okay, it's no healing. It's two major arcanas. Three. All in, you know, the go with the flow and the moon about secrets. That one is upright for a major change, okay? That this is stuck right now. You got to wait till it stop raining, okay, to fix this. You may get messages, you know, about the baby, right, from him. But the truth is, it's no wish fulfillment because you can't fix it at this time. This person isn't willing at this time. And that's why you can't let go. I'm stable. It was unstable and it knocked you for a loop, right? It brought instability to the family or what you thought was going to be a stable home, okay? So let's get a love card. Your, your affirmation and your attitude you should have. <clears throat> what does the Holy Spirit want to tell you about these three major arcana cards and this ten? about this love Scorpio two things okay soulmate this might be a soulmate okay so which is why you have to wait until the rain stops that's the pathway just wait <clears throat> okay so there you go there you are there's your family okay right even though you try you can't let go this soulmate situation but we have more than one soulmate Okay, just to let you know that. But if you want to stick with this one, it says your soulmate is already within you in spirit. It's with you in spirit. But within you is the Holy Spirit, which is your true soulmate, God. Okay? And your higher self. So love yourself first. Your soulmate, look at you. Your soulmate is with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. If you, this, this wish fulfillment and you trying and they not right now and you need your wishes to make the family stable again with this, to walk through that doorway and you crying about it, imagine them there. That is the real way you do it. That is the way you manifest. If you're a real magician, you are the captain of your ship. So you see this spiral up here? And you got the spiral card for leave behind. You have a new fresh way of looking at it. You're going to ascend and go to probably the five of pentacles, six and ten again. But look at this another one. Okay, this is what the Holy Spirit want to tell you about this love. Playfulness. I told you, leave behind the bad. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer of this family. Okay, or of yourself. You're going to have to be playful for yourself in order to make this stable. Okay? And if your love had something to tell you, that's your advice from the Holy Spirit. What would your love say to you right now? Because even though you try, you can't let go. Soulmate 
situation for Scorpio. What would they say? Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. Right over this pinnacle that you have together. Talking about the baby. See the baby in the pinnacle? It's the baby in the healing. So probably healing for the child. And you see the swords got out the way for healing? It just knocked out the way. That's the spirit. Going this might be a soulmate situation, right? So for the baby's sake, it says, they would say, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. So imagine me and you surrounded by light. Feel our relationship being healed at this very moment. So that would mean your soulmate pictured them there with you, okay? Right? And the and 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 the the mist, you know, the rain going away. For the baby's sake. And the spiral of ascension. Okay? So even though you can't let go, it's because this may be a soulmate and you have to wait. Could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius or Air sign. Or that's in your chart and you have to do that and that's God talking to you in truth. Okay? <clears throat> yeah, nobody asks you when the truth cut both ways. Okay? So if they're not that sign, then you know, take it as it resonates. Let's get an attitude card. Because if you can't let go, you're going to have to wait. Heal. Be playful. Even though you try, you can't get the mighty mind. What attitude should you say while waiting, Scorpio? Okay? Again, I am... In love with the adventure of life, that playfulness. Go out with friends. Just get your horsepower back, basically. Because there's the cup of love. Love yourself. And then it'll attract, you know what I mean? The stableness. It'll attract the healing. Okay. And we have the horse. What else? And playfulness, healing, soulmate. We want to get what if you woke up every morning until this healing and playfulness and your soulmate comes back and you do go with the flow. The moon card is here and you get attainment, right? Of this again. Playfulness like a baby. Okay. What affirmation should you say, Scorpio? Even though you try, look those lyrics up. Mariah Carey. Can't get you out of my mind. All right. So this is where you have to, what you have to do, because you've been stuck. This is my stuck card. You've been stuck in a pattern of thinking a certain way, which for you two is not stable. Okay. And there you, the wands need to be on the ground. So you're getting a message from Sweet Joy. Open the door. My daughter just came in and opened the door. What? Okay. And she about to have her baby today. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm about to end this. Oh, I'm about to have a grandbaby today. All right. So open the door. Maybe you're about to have a baby with this person. I don't know. But congratulations. Be flexible to the new. If, if a baby is coming, your brand new relationship with your soulmate. It says, I'm flexible and adaptable to change while I pursue my ambitions. Okay? Nice. Be flexible, be playful, and pursue your ambitions with your soulmate. So thank you, Scorpio. Look up that song. I'm Sweet Joy. Congratulations to you and me. Everything will be okay later. All right. God bless you. And I'll talk to you guys later.